Okay, well, this is the first part of my uh, meat grinder experiment. I mounted the meat grinder on a wood frame and put a motor on it. It's a Neba 23 motor. Uh, the stepper motor driver as a step stick driver and the computer as a, uh, an Arduino or Tinduino in this case. Um, cheap uh, computer microcontroller. Now I mounted the uh, elements, uh, two elements on the um, meat grinder. The elements are soldering iron elements, they're HECO elements. And they can bring the heat up pretty good. Uh, the only thing is the mounting on it with silicon is not to be recommended. Uh, it releases the nauseous fumes when the silicon overheats and since the heaters bring the heat higher than the silicon tolerance it actually uh, it just smokes the silicon Now, of course, if you're going to use small soldering iron elements, you're going to have to use um, some insulation. So, uh, just house insulation, fiberglass, works well in this case. Uh, use the brute force approach here to try to put a little bit of insulation. And the temperature probe used was a K thermocouple, uh, and the temperature controller is a El Cheapo eBay temperature uh, PID controller, uh, along with an eBay solid state relay. Um, they're not the best, but they do work. Um, the solid state relay is strong enough for the current of two soldering iron elements uh, on 24 volts AC. Now right now I'm just sewing the element uh, the uh, sewing the fiberglass insulation onto the meat grinder. So this is just a nylon thread around. No, this doesn't heat much so uh, on the outside of the insulation so that's adequate now the heating elements uh, wire have to poke through the insulation I'm just wiring the solid state relay to the um, heating elements. And a transformer. So, I didn't actually take video of the heating up, but this is the post-mortem. 
the silicon is all charred and uh, underneath the uh, uh, where the heaters used to be and the smell of burning silicon is really bad I'm just replacing the thermocouple a different spot and uh, making sure that the Alright, so I uh, decided to put heating blocks uh, or aluminum blocks on the heating elements and the thought was that the heat would be more distributed uh, throughout the block more even and also uh, not heating as much uh, locally so the silicon would hold again this was a mistake but also another mistake was the heating blocks themselves were not clean from paint and when heating the paint uh, actually uh, started smoking along with the silicon and I can guarantee you a headache if you try the same so this was not a fantastically good experience however we were um, able to uh, uh, get um, the temperature up to 185 degrees Celsius at the mouth of the meat grinder and some plastic was able to enter the meat grinder and make it all the way through uh, now I get my new band heater and the band heater is going to uh, heat the whole uh, surface or uh, of the uh, and now I'm still again using silicon because I like the messiness of it and again it will release nauseous fumes even though the thermocouple is right there local uh, turns out that underneath th the uh, uh, silicon cannot cure and if it does not cure it will stay pasty because after it heat is applied Here I'm just grinding the surface uh, of the uh, nose of the meat grinder just to uh, take the uh, knobs off there. takes a little grinding to remove those metal steel knobs and uh, this is my new uh, plate for the uh, elements these are again the uh, soldering iron elements that I'm going to insert in the front uh, and the front of the meat grinder I um, I think the heating elements for the soldering iron being cheap and uh, 24 volts are really suited for uh, that application now this is a half inch aluminum block that I have in front of the uh, uh, that I'm going to be using in front of the meat grinder.
Now, um, to mount the uh, soldering iron elements, I've learned my lesson with the silicon, so I am using thermal cement. So thermal cement um, gets right into holes, and when it heats up, it actually dries up instead of the silicon where it heats up it actually inhibits it from curing. I will do the same later for the band elements.